Hello everyone, welcome to this video. My name is Abhushad. This video is about vertical power auto scaling. In my last two videos, I have shown you how to create horizontal power auto scaling based on memory usage as well as CPU usage. I'll put the links in the description for you guys to go and check. Okay, before we go into the details, let's discuss about the concepts of scaling. From an IT point of view, scaling is increasing the capacity. So there are mainly two types of scaling. One is vertical scaling and the other one is horizontal scaling. Vertical scaling is increasing the capacity of the resources vertically, mainly for memory and CPU in a specific system. Say it's a physical or a vertical machine or a cloud machine. Okay. Now, the horizontal scaling is increasing the number of instances. When I say increasing the number of instances, that means the number of virtual machine or the cloud instance or physical machine, etc. Before the cloud, vertical scaling was one of the most widely used technologies because it was much easier to increase the resource capacity than to increase the instance because it required additional configuration for the new instance. But with the introduction of cloud and with the introduction of containers, horizontal scaling is widely used now. Okay, now let's see the diagram. As we have seen in the original port auto scaling video, the prerequisites include metric server as well as we need to add request section in the resource. But we are not adding the limit because we need the VPA to automatically increase the resource capacity based on the recommendation. All right. And we also have to install VPA controller. The VPA controller will suggest the recommendation and accordingly our VPA object inside the default namespace will be increasing the resource capacity. Okay. Inside the default namespace, we'll have one deployment and one VPA object. All right. Now let's go and access the terminal and see what we need to do. Before that, as we have discussed in our old videos, we have an AWS EKS setup. I'll put a link in the description about how to create AWS EKS using EKS CTL. Okay, now let's connect to the terminal and create the required objects and see how the vertical pod auto scaler works. Okay, I'm already connected to the terminal. Let's see if our Kubernetes services are working fine. Kubectl get all. It is working fine. So let's start by installing the metric server. For that, we have already seen we need to install the metric server along with other resources. So we have the link to the manifest file. So we are going to make use of that and going to install the required resources. Okay. Okay, so this is the manifest file. We are going to install the resources from this manifest file. I will put link in the description for you guys to go and uh, use the same manifest file okay so the metric server deployment is created let's see that yeah our metric server is getting created yeah now our metric server is created now let's go and install the vpa controller Again, we have the GitHub repository URL. I will share you those links as well. Okay. This is the GitHub where the VPA controller manifest files are available. Okay, I'm going to clone it. I have already created a folder and it is already cloned. I will just show you where it is. Okay, let me remove it. And I'm going to clone it again. Okay, now the cloning is done for the VPA controller. Let me go to the autoscaler vertical for autoscaler and let's follow for hack. And we need to install this script, and this script will automatically install all the components required for the VPA controller. So I'm going to run this. Yeah, it has created all the required objects resources everything has been created 
a couple of deployments all right so let's go and check the cube system namespace okay so i can see our vpa admission vpa recommender and vpa updater these three ports are running all right so that means our uh, VPA controller is running fine. Okay, now let's see uh, if our metric server is able to give us the utilization. Okay, ports are not there. Let's see notes. Yeah, it is able to give us the utilization report. So that means metric server is working fine. Okay, now let's access one of the Google Cloud documentation where it says how to create the VPA. All right, I will put this uh, URL also in the description. Okay, this is the documentation where it says how to create the VPA. Okay, so there are three types of uh, mode in the VPA. One is off, which is actually show a recommendation only, but it will not do an update, automatic update. And there is an initial option, which actually do a auto scaling, but only at the port creation. And third one is auto, where this is the one we are interested in. This option actually automatically scale the ports according to the vertical port auto scalers recommendation. Okay, now let's go down. okay update resource request automatically this is what we are interested in okay and we need to actually create a deployment okay for the vpa demo so we are going to create the deployment and this deployment is what we are going to see the auto scaling okay so we are going to copy the deployment manifest from here it has one command running okay and it uses an uh, image ubuntu slim okay and it has two replicas let's create the manifest file here okay I'm going to deploy this deployment deploy minus F. Okay, deployment is created. Yeah, there are two ports running. Okay, now let me copy the VPA, which is the vertical port auto scaler with the update mode auto. Okay, let me copy paste this as well. Okay, just before we create the VPA, let me show you what the resource requests are for the ports at the moment. I'm selecting one of the port. Here you can see the resource request is 100 M for CPU and 50 Meg for the memory. Okay. Now this is the same for both the ports. I'm going to create the VPA now. Okay, minus f okay the VPA is created kubectl get VPA yeah I can see it is running kubectl describe VPA yeah it is getting created now yeah see if you see in this recommendation it says about the lower bond and the target all right so that means it is recommending a resource request of around 580 m of cpu and 262 meg of memory all right now let's quickly see the ports Let me select one of them. 
yeah it is still in 100 m and 50 meg request all right let's see ctl get all watch watch give ctl get all and here it's running the ports are running now you can see uh, one of the port got terminated and it is creating a new the vpa is creating a new port and let's quickly see what the request what the resource request is okay now you can see the request is changed or updated to a new value this was a recommendation from vpa and that got automatically updated from 100 to 587 and from 50 meg to around 260 meg okay so let's go and watch again and see the next port is also getting terminated and uh, the new one is running okay so that means our configuration was fine and uh, hope you have all seen the concept of uh, vpa vpa has created two new ports according to the recommendation all right guys now we have come to the end of this video thank you for watching see you in my next video